Hello and welcome to ErgonWeb.com, your home for honest, real-world Ergon reviews and information where we bring you the facts, not fluff. Now here at Ergon Web, we look at a lot of different products and there are some that we know we test out but they just never make it into the studio. There are some others that take a lot of work for them to break in and, well, get to the point where we can actually show them to you. And then there's the new BSA Buccaneer. You want to see where that fits in? Keep watching to find out. The new BSA Buccaneer is the latest entry from BSA into the affordable PCP market. Now fully suppressed, the Buccaneer is ready to take on all challengers. The Buccaneer comes in 177 and 22 calibers, and I'm using the 22 caliber for this review. The rifle is extremely well made, and in my opinion, completely lives up to the BSA badge on the side of the receiver. The ambidextrous stock pulls to the shoulder well and is very comfortable. There are no open sights, so you're going to need to mount some sort of optic. Keeping with the BSA theme, I pulled out one of my BSA MilDot AO scopes and mounted it using a pair of BKL mounts. It's a perfect setup for hunting out to 50 and 75 yards. Now the Buccaneer is a PCP rifle that can be filled to 232 bar or 3,365 PSI. Filling is very straightforward. Simply connect your preferred fill source via the provided probe and bring it up to the 232 bar. Being able to fill past 200 bar is not required, but it will give you an extra 10 even shots out in the field. The 10 shot rotary magazine is very easy to load and it slides into the side of the receiver. Now the rifle is cocked and cycled by working the rear bolt, and it can be a little stiff at first, but it does seem to ease up after you've been shooting it for a while. The two stage trigger is okay, but it does have a bit of creep in the second stage. This one's breaking at just under three pounds, which is more than adequate for a hunting rifle, but I think it would fall a little bit short if you were gonna try and use this for precision or bench rest shooting. There is a manual safety in front of the trigger blade. Having some experience with BSA products in the past, I opted to test the 15.89 and the 18.13 grain JSBs. Now the Buccaneer averaged 840 feet per second across 30 shots with the 18.3 grain JSBs, and the 15.89 averaged right around 900 feet per second across 30 shots. I found both to shoot very well, but I think I prefer the 18.13s as I think the extra weight gives them a little bit more long range accuracy. In either case, you're gonna be getting close to 30 foot pounds out of the 22 caliber Buccaneer. Now here are a couple shot groups for you guys to take a look at. The first 10 shot group was shot at 35 yards and the second 10 shot group was shot at 50 yards. Let's take a look. So here's our final summary. The BSA Buccaneer hits the mark in nearly every regard. It has good shot count, great accuracy, very good build quality, and it looks great too. 
Now, if there are any critical observations to be made, it would only be two very minor ones. One, the trigger, while perfectly fine for field work and target shooting, it could be better. Secondly, if you get in a hurry, the rear bolt cocking action can bind on you, and that can lead to accidental double feeds. Now, this is a common issue that I've found on many rear bolt guns, and it's one you need to be aware of going in. All in all, the BSA is a European PCP for way under $1,000, and I mean way under. In fact, it's only slightly more than some of the domestic PCPs on the market. Now, my rifle required absolutely no tinkering to get consistent power and accuracy. It's one of the better out-of-the-box rifles I've ever tested. I'd like to take a moment to thank Pyramid Air for sponsoring Aragon Web in these videos. Please be sure to take a look at the video description for more information and the links to all the products we used. And when you make your next purchase over at Pyramid Air, please let them know that Rick sent you their way. When you're looking for honest, real-world airgun reviews, think Airgun Web, where we tell you the facts, not fluff. I'm Rick Utzel with airgunweb.com. Thanks again for watching.